Hello my friends, Hello. it's another giant food day in Malaysia. Today we'll be going to Ipoh, Ipoh. for the first time. What's in Ipoh? What's to eat? Let's get going. Ipoh, Ipoh, Mo Ipoh. Beautiful morning in Malaysia. Malaysia. Punchun. Yeah. yeah. Good, we're matching. Matching as well. Wow. Yeah. Ready for that punchun? Let's eat. Let's eat. This restaurant is so cool. It's like walking into an old Chinese building. You can really see the history. And I can't wait to try out their famous duck noodles. Punchun. 85 years. It's been around for? Long, long time. Wow. So that's the family portrait over there, 1947. Wow. The original family that opened it here. They're famous for duck leg herbal noodles so wow. it's a pretty much a double broil soup that they steam it in so really good. here's all our food over here you've got that herbal duck yes, yes? Herbal duck. look at that color insane for the wonton noodles it's all of this for 40 dollars oh yum 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 so good tastes so healthy i like it Feels like my immune system gets stronger oh. after every slurp. It is really nice. Yeah. So what is in this? It's so what wine. ingredients are there? Wine. No one really knows. It's yeah. like a secret recipe of oh, theirs. Yeah? Secret but recipe. All we know is that they actually use a lot of ginger, yeah. a lot of different herbs like, like goji berries and stuff. The sweetness doesn't actually come from rock sugar. It comes from the longan, which is like their mata kuching. Wow. Yeah. So you've got longan in here. Yeah. Very wide. Insane. After eating so much food yesterday, this is really calming my stomach. Oh, it's really light as well. Oh. oh my god, it's so good. So meaty and juicy and soft. I've never had duck like this before. Very nice change. We've only been at good restaurants with Odette. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Everything has been good. Best places. Odette. I feel so healthy. <laughs> that restaurant is definitely worth driving out of your way to have, all right? Doesn't matter if you're in KL or somewhere really far, mm -hmm. drive out mm -hmm. and try out the place. The it's fantastic. Everything, Everything was good. Everything. And cheap. <laughs> yeah. What a great way to start our day. Yes. Ah! We're here at Nam Hyong, here for another bite. It's another Kopi Tiam where there's a whole bunch of stalls around. You order all the food and it comes to your table. We're here for the famous white coffee and toast and a whole bunch of other dishes too. Let's eat again. Dang, so this is how they make egg tarts. Pouring that golden liquid to those delicious pastries. Wow, so amazing. Ooh, chakwa dao. We've got some rice and sides over here, a coffee and some noodles. White coffee, ice. Oh, it's so sweet and roasted. Love it. I think you'll like this coffee because it's very sweet. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty good. Oh, and here's the bread. Look at that. Thank you, thank you. I think the bread here is so good. Love it. Wow. It's the three drinks plus uh, the two sets of bread and the four eggs that cost 17 ringgit. So five, 17? Five yes. For the chocolate too, I think that's 8 ringgit. For that one there, 8 ringgit as well. And I think for here, it was about 21 ringgit, 22? Yep. Yeah. Very, very, very cheap. For very delicious looking food. Yum. Let's feast. Eat the bread first while it's so crispy. Cubes are melted. You got that kaya in there too. Ready? Cheers! Yeah. Ippo, baby! <laughs> Unbelievable. Mm. Hell yeah. And you dip it in the mayonnaise. This one is so good, delicious. It reminds me of the one we ate in 
Mac. Mm -hmm. So we're going to the best shop I know. I have this shrimp. Oh. So the profit? Find this. Oh. This is actually really good. Really good. Huh? Yeah. So I add a bread <laughs> and have to go for round two because that is my favorite thing here. I love the broth. Yeah. It reminds me of Lucille. Really delicious. I like this. Dessert? Straight to dessert? I'm sorry, I have to go for this right away. While it's still hot? Yes. Very popular. I see a lot of people order it. They've gone through trays of it. Honestly, I think I'm on a buy. I already know. Just looking at the pastry, it's going to be so flaky. You just know by the reaction. That's a good egg time. Oh, oh, oh. I did have a bad time over here. Yeah. Look at that egg custard proportion to the pastry. Oh. So good. Thank you. Alright, there you go. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Honestly, this is the best thing. Look at that. Magic. And the white coffee to complement it. And of course, that egg. This is by far the best thing ever. Absolutely heavenly, man. Now I think I'm the happiest I've ever been all year. Just amazing feed after feed. Oh man, just traveling with Odette has been a food dream. You know, a foodie's dream. This is it guys. This is what traveling is all about. Stuffing yourself and eating really good meals. Woo! Copy Tiams. Add it to your list in Malaysia. Welcome to Concubine Lane. We're here to find Kelvin a wife. This used to be the red light district. Now it is a interesting place for tourists to visit. So this usually happens when it's like uh, when you look at the sand and the beach, it reflects off the, the moon. Kelvo. Kelvo here. Any of them, it's all right. It's a Hong Kong period. Did you find a wife at no, Concubine Lane? I found a lot of Concubine. Hey, what? Expectations versus reality. Don't believe what you see on the internet. Huh? <laughs> Who took them all? <laughs> oh my god. Oh. I guess it's really hot here, they took it. Yay. Hello! Ippo! 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 Let me go home. They're just having a wholesome conversation. Time for some chicken rice at Lo Wong, a very famous chicken and rice <laughs> restaurant in Ipoh. And an interesting thing about this place is right next door, they have a rival chicken rice restaurant and people cannot decide which one's better. But today we're at the most famous, Lo Wong. And they're actually related. Oh, they're related, the rivals. Yes. So we're getting a whole chicken, and this uh, place is also chicken. half a chicken. You want whole? Uh, half, 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 half. <laughs> <laughs> and this place is also famous for their bean sprouts. Ipo bean sprouts. Ipo bean sprouts. Ipo tau ge. Bean sprouts are very different here. They're about half the size. Little chotes. We're gonna try it out. And then you go home. Damn, this guy's oh. jacked, bro. Oh. You're so strong, brother. Yeah. Oh. I love the whole like Damn, you're jacked. Boy. Big ass muscles, man. <laughs> See, where's he going? Where's he going? He's shy. He's, he's a shy muscle man. Damn, he's been eating a lot of this chicken and rice, man. Did you see how big he was? He said he got so confused, he got the menus have a plate. Oh, he was shy, dude. He was shy, man. Wow. Oh. Half the chicken here. Oh, nice. Like the giblets, 
the, the lard. Oh, it's everything. Yeah. You got some hearts in there too. And this is the famous bean sprout. Oh my god, they look like noodles. Yep. It's insane. All right, let's eat. I am so not really hungry. <laughs> okay, so it's a bit of a hush hush thing, but okay. the original chicken rice store that opened restaurant Lo Wong, uh, which opened quite a while ago, and uh, apparently one of the relatives used to work here and they ended up leaving and opening their own chicken rice shop Damn. next door. So, That's wow. Look at that, guys. That looks amazing. And you dip into the chili. Very, very good chicken. Oh my god, so soft. Mmm, <laughs> so fragrant. The best chicken and rice in my life. God damn. I'm gonna try out the bean sprouts. I'm not the biggest fan of this vegetable, but apparently it's really good here. It's still on the bean of the thing. That's not a bean sprout. That's something heavenly. That's a different type of vegetable. I think it's a sauce as well. Mm. That really helps it, yeah. Now let me get one of these media pieces. Can't get over this chicken. So juicy. Oh. Now the chicken and rice is so good, I definitely have to try next door to see who has the better one. Who must be done? This is definitely John's dish. Chicken and rice, everywhere we go, he's got to try it. That's pretty good chicken and rice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She rocking out again. That's how you know it's good. <laughs> that was round one. And of course, we have to try next door because how else will we know? Just a few steps. I will regret if I do not have this other chicken and rice. If I leave Malaysia not knowing, I might have regrets for life. So this is where we just ate. Here is the arch nemesis chicken. Let's do it. Woo! <laughs> He's struggling. Come on, guys. Very, very full. But work must be done. Round two. Let's go. Wow. Just as fatty. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. This is really bad camera work. I have an extreme food coma. Oh, still looks so good, though. Wow. Let's go. Still so bloody good. I think this one's better. Yeah. That skin is just so soft, meat, juicy, so much flavor. My honest review, however, is that both chicken and rice restaurants are really good, high quality, very delicious, some of the best I've ever had. It's hard to decide which one is better. It, they're both cool and they're both amazing. It just depends what day it is. I cannot breathe, I'm going to sleep. That's a yeah. yeah. She looks okay. She looks okay. Twinning. <laughs> yeah. Shopping. We just woke up from a food coma. We came back from Ipo, passed out. We just woke up and forgot our day jobs. So here we are. <laughs> it has been a big day of traveling, eating. It yep. was amazing. But we are so tired right yeah. now. Yeah, time to wash up and we're heading off somewhere new in the next episode. So we'll see you then. Yeah. Have a good night. I hope I wake up from this second food cover. <laughs> Thanks for watching bye -bye. the video. We love you. Oh my God, I ate so much chicken. See ya. Bye-bye.